What's going on guys, today we're going to be talking about the sneaker releases for the month of April as well as some upcoming sneaker releases for 2023. We got a first look at the Jordan 1 Low Travis Scott Olive which in my opinion looks very very clean except one thing which I'm going to talk about later on. So grab a drink, grab a snack, grab an iced coffee and let's get right into it. <laughs> What's going on guys and welcome to Trending 101. I'm your host Vega and today we're going to be talking about the sneaker releases for the month of April and like always I'm going to tell you whether you should cop or pass that way you get a better idea of how I'm feeling about the sneakers but before we get right into that let's go ahead and talk about some sneaker trending news that are happening right now. Let's go ahead and get it started with the heavy hitter of the month, and that is the Travis Scott Jordan 1 Low Olive, set to be releasing on April 26th for $150. As far as release dates for this sneaker and anything that I talk about in this video, take that with a grain of salt. Either way, the colorway is very, very fire. I am a big fan. Love the white, black, olive, sail add those red laces and now you can really rock it all throughout the year and i say that because the sneaker kind of really gives me fall vibes but add those red laces and you know it's definitely a cool touch for the whole year now my only complaint with this sneaker is that it is a woman exclusive i'm not mad that it is a woman exclusive i'm just kind of upset at the fact that sizing is limited to a size 12 in woman which translates to a size 10 and a half for a very unisex type of colorway i'm not mad about woman exclusive i want to say that because there's always someone that's gonna say what's wrong with women exclusive like i don't get it this is not about that it's about extended sizes but at the end of the day, do your due diligence with this sneaker. It is a very fire sneaker and it hasn't really had a lot of buzz like it did last year, but I'm pretty sure that buzz is going to start picking up as we get closer to the release date. Are you guys going to cop? Are you guys going to pass? Let me know in the comment section. It is the era of celebrities, musicians, influencers that are signing all kind of deals with sneaker brands. And this one specifically kind of puts a smile on my face because of who it is. But all I have to say is this. Travis Scott, watch out because Hasbula is coming for you as far as the sneaker collab throne. And Hasbula just signed a deal with Jordan brand, man. Like that's actually kind of big news for this kid. Actually, he's not even a kid. He's 20 years old. I don't know if you knew that. I didn't know that until I started doing the research, but I find it very cool that this specific celebrity or influencer, however you want to look at him, has a sneaker deal now with Jordan brand. You know, he feels that he belongs there and he's going to be calling his sneaker the Air Hasbula <laughs> and he's going to have other sneaker releases with his deal as well. Now, Hasbula had something to say about the matter and he says, Michael Jordan and I are both the GOAT, so a partnership makes perfect sense to me. I look forward to meeting Michael Jordan in person and unveiling my first sneaker. Yo. <laughs> It is safe to say that everybody likes this guy and I think that having a sneaker deal is it, it is a pretty cool thing for Jordan brand to do as well. Let me know in the comment section do you like this do you not? Is it fire? Is it whack? Comment down below. All right, guys, let's go ahead and talk about the sneaker releases for the month of April. And like always, I'm going to tell you whether you should cop or pass. That way you get a better idea of how I feel about the sneaker. But let's go ahead and talk about a sneaker that already released or a pack that already released by the time this video gets uploaded. And that is the New Balance 2002R Refine Future Pack. This was released on April 3rd for $160 very very clean pack in my opinion of course taking notes from the 1906 r pack which was also called the refined pack and i like it man i really like the gray colorway the black colorway and that driftwood colorway really calls my name and also a navy blue pair I feel that the Driftwood would be a colorway that I would go for just because I already have the 1906 R in the black colorway, in the gray colorway, and the navy blue pair is just something I'm not going to rock. But that Driftwood though, mm -mm. should I cop, should I not? I'm going to say 
cop just for the driftwood pair but all the other ones are very cool as well just in case you don't have any of those colors but yeah for me it's gonna be a cop the next sneaker is the Jordan 3 Lucky Green. This is set to be releasing on April 6th for $200. This is a woman exclusive. I already talked about how I feel about woman exclusive. And this is a perfect example of a unisex colorway that should be just a general release. Either way, I feel that this is something that I can really get my hands on. I feel that not a lot of people are talking about it. I am going to try to get it. Again, it is unisex. I feel that the sizing also is extended, so it shouldn't be that hard. That's what she said. <laughs> but all jokes aside, I really do like the sneaker. The white, the green, the sale is a perfect execution when it comes down to a Jordan 3. I feel that this is something that I can also rock all year round. And that's what I'm looking for nowadays. Something that I can wear all year round instead of just limited to certain seasons. So I feel like this is a cop. The next sneaker is the Nike Air Foam Posit 1 in the Penny Hardaway PE colorway set to be releasing on April 7th for $240. Jesus, Jesus Christ, $240 after taxes. And if you pay shipping, either way, it's going to be like $260 something. I stopped buying foam posits back in the day when they were like $220 because of that reason. But $240, Ooh, that's pretty steep, Nike. At the end of the day, I feel that this sneaker has been heavily requested by Air by the Air Penny community. I feel that the Air Penny always has a special place in a lot of people's heart. I feel that the fact that it is a PE, the fact that Penny wore, wore these shoes in the 97-98 season is going to attract a lot of people to buy this sneaker. Now, is it going to sell out? I don't know. It depends on the quantity that Nike makes, but either way, the sneaker itself is pretty plain white black creamy sole air penny logo in the back yes it looks clean am i gonna go out of my way to buy this not really have you worn <laughs> the airphone posit once to play ball in i don't know how they did it in the 90s but with so much technology nowadays it is definitely not a sneaker to play ball in clunky it really messes up my feet either way it is safe to say that you already know what i'm gonna say and that is a pass the next sneaker is the Nike Dunk Low Setsubun. I think that's how you say it. That's in Japanese. And it's set to be releasing on April 11th for $120. That price is not bad though. Now, as far as that Setsubun uh, name, it actually translates to seasonal division. The logo, it's a Tisuno Daichi. The logo is supposed to represent the protection from evil and illness. That itself, I am down with. I'm also down with the colorway, and I also like the fact that it has a gum sole, and that purple just kind of goes with the whole sneaker. I also like the fact that they added some nice, uh, looks like off-white laces, and the quality looks amazing. For $120, this is an automatic cop. I already talked about the fact that I like when Nike goes out of their way to do very good theming, especially on the tongue area. This one doesn't have that, but I like that little logo in the quarter panel in the back. I also like the insoles as well. So for me, it is definitely a cop. Up next, we have a pretty interesting sneaker, and that is the undercover Nike Mock Flow SP, set to be releasing on April 12th for $160. These are also releasing along the side of a black pair, which quality seems to be very, very nice, especially that upper part that you see in this kind of brown colorway. That brown leather looks very premium, and I like the engravement of undercover as well. I just feel that this sneaker looks good, but it's just not for me. I feel that this is, this is for a person that really likes high fashion and is going to basically rock it in a better way than me. The sneaker is fire for those who want it, but for me, it's just going to be a pass. Up next, we have another Nike Dunk Low, and that is the Citroen Pulse, set to be releasing on April 13th for $110. It is a woman exclusive. It is yellow, and that gray that seems to be in the pictures is more like a light bone. Light bone always does that in the pictures where you think it's more gray, but then when you get it, you don't really know how to describe it. Let me know in the comment section if you ever had any light bone colorways and it's always the same thing. Either way, for $110, 
you really cannot go wrong, especially for the spring and the summertime. It is a very clean pair. I myself have already an Air Max One in, in a yellow white colorway, which was a woman exclusive by the way, but they had it in my size. So of course your boy was happy, but I already have other yellow and, well, yellow and white sneakers that I would wear on top of this one. So why would I get it? So with that being said, it's a pass. Speaking of the Nike Air Max 1, we have the Nike Air Max 1 in the Mika green colorway set to be releasing on April 14th for $160. First things first, can you see this leather? Like the quality, the quality <laughs> looks A1. This is the type of sneaker that I will get just because of the quality. This is what I'm talking about Nike. When you guys do stuff like this, it pushes people to like buy your product. Like that's the reason why I buy New Balance products, but that's another conversation. Either way, this green, which is a Mika green as they're calling it, it's kind of like a clay green as well that we've seen in the past. Remember guys, it is the 35th anniversary of the Air Max One, so we're definitely gonna see many more colorways. But for me, this is a nice colorway that you can wear all throughout the year. And because of that, I'm gonna say it's a cop. If you like ACG vibes or if you just love ACG, I got you. This is the Nike ACG Mountain Fly Low 2 in the laser orange colorway. It is also going to be releasing in other colorways, but this one specifically is releasing on April 14th for $150. <sighs> this is another sneaker that I can appreciate, but it's just not for me. Like the sneaker has enough like cool factors for those that are into outdoors and it looks very nice. It's like it has those hiking vibes, etc. I really, really like this colorway as well, but it makes it. I don't know, man. I, I really don't know. I like this colorway. Don't get me wrong. And it's fire. But again, it's, it's just not for me, man. It's just kind of like that other sneaker that I just talked about. The um, undercover Nike Mock Flow. It's one of those sneakers that is for somebody else. I appreciate it. I think it's fire. If I lived by the mountains, if I went hiking a lot, if I love the outdoors enough to go camping every damn weekend, this is something I would definitely buy. Just like the Jordan golf shoes. If I play a lot of golf, I probably would be rocking Jordan golf sneakers all the time. Either way, you already know what I'm going to say. It's a pass. Speaking of Jordans, we have the Jordan 1 Lucky Green set to be releasing on April 15th for $180. If you've been following me for quite some time, you probably heard this before. Green Jordans always do well. And that is because it is different than your typical red, black, white, white, red, black, etc. And this is no different. The Jordan 4 Pine Green sold out before, right? This is probably going to sell out as well just because of the colorway. However, the color blocking, I'm not a big fan of. It is that black toe color blocking, which is white black with hints of green. Now, you might say, well, Carlos, there's a bunch of green in the back. Well, if you put your pant leg over it, just like we're doing now, you really can't see that. Just like the damn mochas, same exact thing. I hate it. I not a fan <laughs> but as far as this sneaker it looks very nice i like the fact that they added green laces to kind of give it more of a pop and at the end of the day this is not going to be a sneaker for everyone but for me it's just going to be a pass onto something completely different and that is the action bronson new balance 990 b6 set to be releasing on april 25th for 220 dollars i really don't know how i feel about this pair to be honest with you it's wild, it has a little bit of that outerwear vibe, hiking, camping, just like ACG, I always say that with these type of colorways. Quality looks great, I'm not gonna lie, and I always say the same thing with New Balance, but it's just kind of a little bit all over the place for me, although I love loud colorways. So, as much as I hate to say this because I kind of like it, but as far as every sneaker that is coming out and everything that I have, for me, it's going to be a pass. The next sneaker, we already talked about it. It is the heavy hitter of the month, the Travis Scott Jordan 1 Low and the Olive Colorway set to be releasing on April 26th for $150 clean sneaker. I'm not going to talk about the fact that it is a woman exclusive, how I feel about that, because I already talked about that in the beginning of the video, the colorway fire, white, black, sail, olive, you know, those red laces. It, it looks very nice. 
Now, am I going to get a pair? I'm going to try. I feel that a lot of people are going to go after this sneaker, although the hype is just not really there right now for whatever reason. We have been seeing this sneaker for the last six months, and I think that's why people are not really hyped anymore, but I'm pretty sure that's gonna change towards the uh, release date. So for me, I'm gonna try. So for me, it's a cop. The next sneaker is a Jordan 3 in the Wizards colorway set to be releasing on April 29th for $210. If you don't know the story behind this, this is pretty much a Jordan 3 that Jordan wore in the Wizards era. It looks very nice, kind of reminds me of a true blue, and I feel that that's actually what he was wearing, a true blue, not this one. They just flipped the colors around to make it the Wizards. That would have been fire though if he would have actually worn these right here because it looks very clean now i have the true blue threes am i gonna get this pair probably not i like the story behind it though just because it is that wizards era that it kind of gets overshadowed with the bulls era but it's a jordan 3 as well man it kind of like messes with you mentally right but at the end of the day man if you have the true blue threes why are you going to go after these especially with that little bit of a difference in that Jumpman, which is a little bit of brown. I, I don't know, man. Now, I think that what would make the sneaker pop even more was the Nike Air in the back, but they decided to put the Jumpman logo. So for those reasons, I'm just going to go ahead and say pass. In this portion of the video, I like to go over some of the sneaker leaks that we have so far and go over the images. That way you get a better idea of what's releasing later on this year. The first thing that I want to go over, and it seems that every month I'm doing the same thing. Jordan releases a whole holiday or a whole summer pack. And this time it's no exception. I'm talking about the Jordan holiday 2023 preview. I'm only going to go over the sneakers that mean something to me or that catch my attention because there's just a lot. The Jordan one low red, white kind of seems like a metallic. So it might be the Jordan one low red, white metallic. That one looks very clean. The Jordan 12 Sherry man, this sneaker hasn't been released for quite some time. So for sure, a lot of people are going to go after it, including myself. The Jordan 1 Reimagine, anything with a Reimagine name already catches my attention as well as other people as well. I just hope that they do it right. The Jordan 4 Olive Canvas, you already know if you see this green at orange laces, what do we have? A poor man undefeated Jordan 4, man. And this is something that I really want. Now the Jordan 11 DMP is also a sneaker that for me is going to be for history purposes and I also sold my Concords recently so I might just get these to kind of keep my sanity when it comes down to my Jordan 11s because I sold a lot of them. Now the Jordan 3 Black Off-White, I think these are called the Jordan 3 Norse. Either way, if you ever wanted a black and white or kind of more of a neutral tone Jordan 3, this is it. And I feel that all of these sneakers look very good. There's other ones that kind of catch my attention, but not enough for me to spend the bread on it. So at the end, man, which sneaker do you like? Which Jordan are you going after? Are you excited for this preview? Comment down below. The next leak that I want to talk about is the Fear of God Adidas sample that recently just surfaced. I want to say like two weeks ago. And the good thing about this leak is that we have a couple of angles of the sneaker and you get to see how the sneaker is going to look. Now, I don't know if this is the final version. I also also know that this is not the basketball performance model that he's also working on but when i see this it's almost like i feel like it's unfinished so i hope that this is not the final version there's a couple of things that i don't like and there's some that i do of course just like a lot of you out there i don't like the toe box i feel that the adidas logo placement is kind of not right i don't know how to explain it it just looks it just doesn't look right there let's just say that and the top portion of the sneaker looks like unfinished like if it would have been a little bit taller kind of like the air fear of god one then it probably would have looked a little bit better but at the end of the day this is just a leak this might not even be the final version do you like it do you don't comment down below that's pretty much it for today's video i hope you found it informative and entertaining i wish you nothing but the best when it comes down to getting any sneaker that you want this month do your due diligence do your legwork and you should be good to go if you made it this far go ahead and comment 
you know, go ahead and put a fire emoji down below and let me know that you really rock with your boy. And it also lets me know that you watch all the way through. If you haven't done it by now, go ahead and hit subscribe, smash the like button. It really does mean a lot. And also hit that bell. That way you get notified every single time I drop a video. Also, if you're not doing so, follow me on Instagram at Carlos Vega 101. I'm always updating the date and time of my videos. And it's just a good little way of keeping up with me as well. With that being said, till next time, peace.